so it's March 27th, I think, and I get a call. Who do I get a call from? Huck, of all people. Whenever I get a call from Huck, I know something fun slash weird's gonna happen. So he says, Johnny, he says, hey, I found a couple old cars I want. They're right around the way from you. He says, we're gonna play with them. You get them to your place and uh, see if you can get them running, evaluate them, see if there's anything coming up that we can have some fun with. Well, lo and behold, we actually have a Gambler Hoop DX event coming up. And, uh, hey, they're race cars. The Hoop DX is a race. So this one's an old Camaro. It has, it was retired, but running retired. Has a 400 and a Turbo 350. And it's supposed to run. Radiator was in it there. Missing some back bracketry and stuff. Um, actually, I think this is a, the quicker candidate for a fast runner. Uh, like I said, Chevy 400. And actually, there's probably no alternator on it because they probably didn't run an alternator. But anyway, so that's that one. And I've looked at this one. Un, uh, unsealed it over at the pickup spot. I gotta get that pin back on tighter. It will blow off in the Chino early wind. They came with a couple more rear ends, one each. Oh, when I say they, we need to get to they. So, in this one, is a metric car, probably somewhere between 78 and uh, uh, 87 uh, G-body. GM, I believe it was a Monte Carlo. I have not so much as opened any end of this thing. So we'll start at the back. He had graduated into this car. Um, so it's got all the parts. So we got a fuel cell. Hopefully the fuel ain't super rank in it. Not sure how long it's been since he ran it. I have yet to be under the hood. They both got Kirky seats. We got some more five point harnesses and seat pad. Spare springs. Um, Pretty nicely done interior, you got the big tack over there. I might, I don't know if I fit in that seat. But at this point, I have yet to look under this hood. I have no idea what I'm, he said it's got a 383 stroke, or a stroker motor in it. I'm assuming it's 383. It was hobby stock, running hobby stock class. So I really don't know for sure uh, what it might be. Hang on a minute. I'm going to see if I can set you all up for a second here. Somewhere, somewhere to watch while I run hood. This might work right there, actually. That could work. All right. Looks like it's probably not a bad purchase because worst case scenario, I do run Demolition Derby and uh, small blocks are handy. I think they were both running quadra bogs. They might have had to run the right manifolds for the... But yeah, I'm thinking this could be the setup for the uh, Hoopty Cross. I don't know. The Camaro is not too bad. Like I said, we got some goodies here because... Uh, I'm guessing that's the just the speedy top and the regular nope, got a quadra bog on it. So anyway, not a whole lot to it. Huck said go get him. I said okay. And knowing Huck, I'll end up being the sole care provider on him and we're gonna do pretty much what we want unless he calls and says specifically, hey man. We got this event coming up with that car work, and if it will, we'll throw it together, together and send it. Like I said, picking one of them for sure. I'm toying with this one because I like to make the cars. Could be the Camaro um, to take the Hoop DX, which is May 4th, I think, weekend at Mormon Lake, Arizona. Look it up. If you can be there, show up. It should be a blast. That will be on the Gambler 500 site. 
Um, not too much happening. Got lots of work going. Those tires came with it. Uh, got work to do on that truck. We got work to do on everything. Been trying to clean the shop and neaten up. It's been happening little by little. And I always kind of laugh and to prove that you can sometimes do shop on a cheap. That blue box, I think I'm in it a couple hundred dollars. This, I can't say whether it was a good find or a bad find. It's a semi welding table. Got a bunch of drawers. I pretty much literally moved into it. Need way more consumables. And, uh, you know, there's my layout drawer. There's all my extra cutoffs and all that stuff. We got down here, we got the grinders. You know, so. I don't know if I got anything in this. Yeah, I put welding welding rod in this one, and I think it sticks. Oh, so we got welding rod in there. Put a little heater in it, make a nice little rod vault. Uh, $75 off, uh, whatchamacallit. Most of these toolboxes have been bought off of, well, they've all been bought off of uh, um, Marketplace, Craigslist kind of thing. So anyway, I'm going to pop this camera out the kind of time we're running into. Because I like to keep videos short. I ain't posting much. Oh, that's short. But uh, anyway, should be getting shit set up for demolition derby. I'm still up in the arms. I'll probably run my old car because I can slam it together again and send it again. But the new Cadillac I'm building, that's kind of in a holding pattern because I'm not going to waste it. I want to make sure the car is tight and right and ready to go. So anyway, we got a, a G body slash Monte Colorado slash Cutlass. I'm thinking it's probably Monte slash whatever and a Camaro to play with and uh, I'm probably not going to mess with trying to fire it up this morning I got a day off and I'm going to ditch out and go hunting even though <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea and I'm taking the two wheel drive Tahoe but if it starts raining I'm smart, smart enough to not go somewhere stupid unlike this happy individual that is a sign of a ner neurotic dog folks if you don't know He's, he was kind of born like some people that just ain't never right. Hey, Dexter, no. Quit chasing your tail. And then we got old Mama Blues. Blues is always around representing. But yeah, looks a little cloudy, but we're gonna we're gonna go screw around in the woods somewhere. Huh? We got a sapphire. We'll probably take her. Probably take Boo. Now I'm just rambling on talking as if anybody really cares. Once again, Huck sent me on a mission and bless his heart. It was literally 15 minutes from my house and an easy process. So we're going to do something. Again, y'all have a great day and we'll see you on down the road.